Hi, I'm Ron Weinholt with the Maryland Chamber of Commerce. I wanted to update you for a minute on what's going on with some health care proposals. It's been a very active session with uh, proposals to have a payroll tax on employers, uh, which has caused a great concern to us. But more importantly, on the good news front, there's legislation looks to be moving that would make some major reforms to how the small group health insurance plan uh, operates in Maryland. That's been a big priority for the Maryland Chamber as most of our members get small group health insurance. Uh, Senate Bill 637, sponsored by Senator Rob Gargiola from Montgomery County and also co-sponsored by Delegate Dan Morheim, would make five major changes to the small group health insurance plan. First, it would require the Maryland Health Care Commission to have on their website price comparisons for uh, health insurance uh, so that small employers could look there and do some comparison shopping. Second, it would have uh, allow for pre-existing condition exclusions uh, for a small group, something that's not been allowed up to this point, but which would encourage individuals to get small group insurance before they have an illness. Uh, it would eliminate the benefit floor uh, for a small group uh, so that plans could be offered that would be less expensive than those that are currently offered. Uh, fourth, the plan would widen the rating bands in small group uh, so that there would be less subsidy from young groups to older groups, again encouraging more healthy uh, individuals to come into the plan. And then finally, it would have a three-year uh, reduction or surcharge to rates for businesses that first come into the small group plan, again, to encourage businesses to come in when they're, uh, when they're healthy and not wait until uh, illnesses and sicknesses occur. Uh, this legislation has gotten a tentative okay in the Senate Finance Committee. I look for it to be voted out before the end of the week, and it's something that we strongly support. It's something that we think would breathe new life in the small group plan and encourage younger, healthier groups to come in and stabilize the rates for everyone.